Okay, so we're just gonna skip the entire intro and just jump right into this insane bedroom makeover. This was my bedroom growing up. It's been green since day one. The day we stepped foot in this house, it's been green. And that's all gonna change in this super exciting bedroom transformation. <laughs> So this is actually a surprise bedroom makeover for my sister. She actually bought this paint like months ago, but her schedule is so busy. So yeah, I definitely got to the paint before she did. I'm only in Florida for like, honestly, it's like less than a day. I know she's been wanting to redo her room forever. So I'm just gonna give her a little gift before I fly back. We did our first coat of white paint. Clearly everything's not completely painted. Um, we're trying to get the bed out of here so that everything becomes more accessible. Ignore the mess, <laughs> ignore the mess. There was nothing wrong with this bed frame. I just wanted something more simple, more modern because the room is so small and I just wanted to feel a little bit more spacious. She does store her clothes in storage bins underneath her bed and I found the perfect Amazon bed frame. I was a little skeptical, but I went through with it anyways. I, I mean, I was ready to judge. Like I was ready to judge once I moved the actual mattress. I was like, oh, okay. But then I remembered what my current, the current state of my bedroom looked like and yeah. Every thought went out the window. My room is a hot mess right now. We all have that space right now in our home that's collecting all our missing items. So no judging, please. And if you're not ashamed of that space, let me know in the comments. Like I said, mine is my bedroom and somewhat my laundry room. But yeah, I'll meet you guys in the comments. So I'm not gonna check every box on this makeover, but trust me, it's enough to make it look cozy, inviting and spacious, which is the goal. So I'm finally done painting the walls. It took forever, but um, there's still some green on the ceiling, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna let her do that by herself. So instead of painting the baseboard, um, I got some um, these disinfectant wipes. So I'm just gonna wipe down on the baseboards. I already started down here. So I'm just making my way over here and now we're just gonna do all of that. So I am gonna paint this part just because I can't remove those with the wipes. So I'm just gonna paint this to make it look a little more fresher. Is that fresher? More refreshing? These blinds, if I had it my way, blinds wouldn't even be a thing. Like, no offense to anyone who has blinds. There's actually blinds all around this house. Um, I just love being able to know that the sun exists. Okay, but that's just me. All these blinds, they just never open. Even when I lived here, I just never opened it. I never really appreciated the sun until I actually moved to Pittsburgh. So now I just, you know, it just makes you feel good. So to keep some form of privacy now that the blinds are off, I'm gonna go ahead and use these frosted window films that I got off Amazon. I'm not sure if I'd buy this specific brand again. I'm not sure if it'll stick on long term, but it's doing its job now and that's all that matters. Anywho, since we're on the topic of windows, I found these beautiful curtains at Ikea. They literally have everything. My sister calls it Target on steroids and yeah, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> I thought the color was perfect and I really liked that it had several ways to install them. And I also found some beautiful blush curtains at another store. And just a heads up, blush is like my focus color here. I'd honestly be like a millionaire right now if I was paid a dollar for every time my sister mentioned the color blush. Well, I guess not a millionaire. Maybe maybe I'd be a hundred dollars uh, 
richer, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, she loves the color blush. I made this so much more complicated than it needed to be for absolutely no reason at all. But I eventually got it together trying to build this bed frame for the bedroom makeover. So this bed frame had really great readings, but you know how you have those, those handful of comments that just make you really rethink, like, do you really want this item? Yeah, that was me the entire time. Like I reviewed so many different options and I just kept coming back to this one, even with the negative reviews. But I'm really, really happy that I selected this one. Like, so, so happy. So happy. I found this blush bed set at Target and some extra pillowcases because it was on clearance. <sighs> I really can't be in the clearance out. And I could have passed off this fluffy blush accent pillow. It was so perfect. And I like that it was round too. I did want to add these photo frames above the bed and just to add more greenery to the room because I know she really wanted a lot of plants but don't have the space for it. And. I thought these photos would be perfect, but I didn't end up putting it up because I felt like it wasn't her style. She really likes black art, so she'll be filling in the wall herself and add a little bit more of her to the room. I found this rug at Ross and it was such a good deal. The rugs were very limited and if there were more options, honestly, this wouldn't be one of them, but I'm really, really happy that they didn't have much choices because I thought this was so perfect. Like I said, my sister loves plants. As long as she doesn't have to water them, she loves plants. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you guys have more faux plants or more real plants? I have two faux plants actually in places that have zero sunlight. So let me know what you guys have in the comments. And now to add the final piece, which is her desk. If I had the time, I'd organize the inside, but you know, I, I didn't and that's okay. That is okay. Um, I wanted to create like a DIY decor for a frame that I found at Ikea. She's a fan of Maya Angelou and other like black activists. I know, I know. I forgot the you in Miss Angelou's name. The disrespect. I can't believe I forgot the you, but hopefully it's not too obvious. And hopefully you guys didn't even notice either until I pointed it out. <laughs> Something that could easily be DIY'd at home, but our printer does not work so i actually went to walmart and just printed it out um on a four by four and just snipped that extra piece off and voila it was so perfect I added some gold accents because, hey, why not? And how cute is this hourglass? It's so satisfying to watch the sand fall through the glass. Like, there was just something so calming about it. I thought it was like a really great find. Okay, so here's a reminder of what the bedroom looked like before. 
and oh my goodness this bedroom makeover transformed this room completely it's brighter it feels more spacious even though it is a small room so i might not call it a small room but it's pretty small i love the minimalism of it it's not overwhelming there's no bulky furnitures and most importantly most of the clutter is gone let me know what you guys think. I always look forward to your comments. And if you're a silent watcher, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and we could skip the whole comment part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.